Hi, my name is Paul Wilkinson, along with Sarah Plater, I'm the co-author of Mastering Portrait Photography. And in the next minute or so, I'm going to talk to you about this image we took of Kyra in our studio. So yes, I admit, we've got a little bit of technology on this particular image. We do have studio lighting. You could, if you have a nice skylight or a nice big window, take a very similar image. But in this particular instance, this is a studio lit shot. What I have done, though, is have nothing except one grey paper background, one softbox, one metre square, and there are plenty around. They're not that expensive. This isn't a nice one. This is from Alencrom, uh, but there are plenty around. Uh, one SLR with a 70 to 200 lens on it, and that's it. That's all you need. Um, oh, and a chaise long, and a very pretty little girl called Kyra. Uh, an old trick someone told me, if you're having um, a shoot where you've got children who are mobile, which most children are, is you need sometimes to find a way of settling them down and giving them um, a, a positioning so that they don't move. Obviously, if you've got a nice studio light, the light is, the light is good in that zone, but if she wanders out of the light, I'm not gonna be able to get the shot. Um, using the back of a sofa or the back of an armchair, you can pop the child onto their knees, they can lean onto the sofa, and you've got them both static. You've also got a really lovely construction of an image, a very gentle image. This is our studio chaise long, which was reasonably well upholstered, so it's got a nice feel to it. This will make a great black and white. Uh, notice that on the softbox, I'm not using the light shining straight at the face. I'm using it going past the, uh, Kara's face, really, and I'm using the edge of the light. It's a type of feathering. Uh, you get a softer light on the edge. You get a certain type of lighting. It also has the added benefit that because the lighting is slightly less prominent on the edge, is I've exposed slightly higher, so the light that's bouncing around the room is now playing into it, and it just softens it a little bit. It just gives me light coming off the walls. In our studio, we happen to have a wooden ceiling, and it just gives a little bit of warmth back off the ceiling. Whereas if I lit directly, much harder, although the light would be soft because the softbox is really big, um, it would also mean that there'd be very little bounce light coming back relative to the light from the middle of the box. Uh, I've made sure I've got really beautiful catch lights in the eyes, so that even if Kyra looks around, on the whole, her face is really beautiful lit. I've asked her mum, so I'm looking at you as if Kyra was looking at you. I've asked Kyra's mum to stand on that side of the camera because that's where the light is. So if Kyra's looking at me, and then Kyra's looking at mum, and Kyra's looking at me, and Kyra's looking at mum, um, the light on her face is exactly as I intended. It gives a really beautiful three-quarter lighting, um, and wherever she looks, I'm going to get a really nice picture. This picture was just one of several we took. Um, Kyra obviously is really animated, uh, and so uh, this happens to be my favourite.